Hello and welcome back to a segment on the OpenLDAP server. So far we have managed to see how you could perform the installation and the configuration of OpenLDAP on a Solaris 11 machine. Then went ahead to discuss about the different operations you could perform on the OpenLDAP like the LDAP add, LDAP modify, LDAP search. In fact, we did the modification of the OpenLDAP server both in interactive mode as well as using the LDIF file. Then we went ahead and understood the access log and the audit log. We understood two different ways of configuring it like the static configuration modifying the slapd.conf and also the dynamic configuration that existed from 2.3 version of the OpenLDAP onwards in the form of OLC which is online configuration or often referred to as a zero downtime configuration. Uh, now we're going to have a look at how we could secure our OpenLDAP server. We have an OpenLDAP server in place. We could query the OpenLDAP server for a lot of information, including the information about the identities that exist inside the OpenLDAP. I'm going to run an all familiar command here, which is LDAP search minus B DC is equal to FedG, comma DC is equal to com object class is equal to asterisk. This might be a very familiar command to you, but what is missing from this command is the bind DN. The DN or the distinguished name that you use to authenticate yourself as a valid user in the OpenLDAP server. This means to say that I am trying to get information from the OpenLDAP server. In fact, just about every single entry because the filter I have used here is object class is equal to asterisk without supplying a valid credential. I'm going to find out these entries as an anonymous user. Let's see what results does this operation fetch us. As you can see, I'm able to get all information from the OpenLDAP server in spite of the fact that I did not supply a valid credential in there, including very sensitive attributes like the password of the users, which certainly is not a very desirable setup. So we will have to impose some kind of constraints on this OpenLDAP server, making sure that only authorized people have access to the OpenLDAP server. That is why access control exists. Access control is a set of rules that you would write to make sure that only authorized users are in a position to access the information from the OpenLDAP server. So let's see how you could impose such rules in this segment on the OpenLDAP server. 